You ever wonder why you can't seem to reach your fitness goals or why you sometimes reach them but then you go back to where you started? Or why you sometimes reach a level of freedom in your life but then you just sabotage yourself back to old habits? My name is Roberto. I'm the founder of Path to Freedom Coaching and the head coach. And I started noticing a pattern after training a lot of people and realizing they gain all the weight back after they lose it. Now, that didn't happen to every single person, but a majority of them. And you've probably noticed the same pattern in your life where you want to lose a certain amount of weight, you want to get a little healthier, you want to get rid of a certain habit, but you always go back to the same habits again. And it might happen after a week, it might happen after two months, after three months, or after a year. Aren't you tired of that? Aren't you tired of just going back to the same old you? There's an incredible saying that says, human nature left ungoverned will always default to the negative. And that is 100% true. Because if you don't continually take care of you, if you are not continually growing, you will always default to the negative. Meaning you are always going to go back to old habits. You're always gonna go back to what you used to do to the thing that you used to be comfortable in. And one of the things that I wanna tell you is, if you have any goals about in health or fitness, the first thing that you have to take care of, no matter what, is not a diet, not a workout program, it's your self-image. Yeah, you're probably thinking, Robert, are you kidding me? I've invested hundreds of dollars in a trainer, in a workout program, in a nutrition program, and you're gonna tell me that the only thing I have to change is my self-image? Is it really that simple? Absolutely. Because your outside world is in direct proportion to your internal being. So yes, you might lose 10 pounds, you might lose 15 pounds or 20 pounds for that wedding or that party, but if you don't change your self-image, if you don't begin to change the way you see yourself, you will always sabotage yourself back to your old habits and back to the way you used to be. Because if you're thinking, I am Roberto, and the way that I see myself is as overweight, or I see myself as this undisciplined individual, I see myself as this person who can't accomplish anything. Now you're thinking those thoughts subconsciously, not consciously, meaning those thoughts are running you 99% of the time. And if you're thinking that way, you can consciously change those habits and those thoughts, but if you don't change them subconsciously, then your goals are not gonna be permanent and they're not gonna change. So one of the things that I would encourage you to do, one simple thing that you can begin doing is, what is your ideal self look like? What would that person look like if you were already walking in the freedom and in the way that you want to walk? How would you walk? How would you talk? and begin to imagine yourself and begin to see yourself in that manner already. Because if you begin to do that, then you're outside, as you begin to really change your belief system on the inside, then your habits, your outside world will begin to be a reflection of how you see yourself on the inside. These are the same principles that I used whenever I got out of depression, anxiety, and suicidal thoughts. And you have the absolute ability and the power to be able to live in freedom in every area of life. In Path to Freedom Coaching, we focus on five areas. Mind, body, spirit, finances, and relationships. We believe that you cannot be truly healthy unless you work, work in every single one area of your life. You may put a little bit more focus on one area than another at certain times of your life, but that's, that, that doesn't mean that you're doing well, you could be doing well in one area, but you could be doing horrible in another. And you're naturally going to be free unless you are continually working on yourself in every area of life. So if I, I leave you with one thing today is don't focus so much on the workouts. Don't focus so much on the nutrition. Yes, they're important, but you're missing the point. You need to focus primarily on your self image. How do you see yourself? Because when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will change. If you want to know more about Path to Freedom Coaching and the actual program where we help people 
reach freedom in every area of life, click on the link below and we would love to help you. But if not, if you just want to receive awesome content because we're going to be talking about a lot of things and how to begin to become your own coach in every area of life, not just health, but also finances, relationships, in every area of life, then subscribe, like this video, and I would love to hear your feedback on what are some of the things that you think you could be doing right now to begin to change your self-image. My name is Roberto. I'll see you on the next video.